So the rand is in a free fall, but what does it really mean for your pocket and the country at large? That's what we're talking about in today's video. Hi, my name is Yolanda and I'm a wealth advisor and it is my goal on this platform to give you easy, actionable tips, content and strategies that you can use to manage money well, to live abundantly and build generational wealth. So the rand in the free fall, I mean, taking a huge hit at the weakest levels they've been ever. And it's a huge dent on your pocket and your generational wealth. This is going to make your everyday expenses higher, particularly when it comes to international purchases. And you're probably thinking you don't buy anything from overseas, but what is bought overseas is oil. Now, I know that we are set for a significant uh, price cut when it comes to our fuel costs next month, uh, but that is mainly due to the falling price of oil. But with the weaker rand, we got to pay more to buy the oil transported over here and most likely have it refined because our refinery capacity has been diminished. But what can you do on your level to try and protect yourself, your family, and your wealth? Protecting your wealth from a weak currency takes careful planning. All right, it takes a lot of effort. And if you need help, get help. But here's some strategies that you can consider when it comes to protecting your money. Firstly, invest in stable foreign currencies. Now, I know that's hard to do because everybody has their own situations. But consider allocating a certain portion of your portfolio to foreign currency, which basically means everybody else that is more stable than South Africa. What this will do is it will help preserve some of the value of your money. So the markets are forever fluctuating. So it's important for you to stay on top of this. The next thing you got to do is consider offshore investment. So you got to consider moving a significant portion of your wealth offshore. In South Africa, you have the 1 million allocation that you can take across without any interference from anybody. Once it's over a million, uh, it gets a little bit sticky with the Reserve Bank and those permissions becoming a lot more difficult. All right, if you don't have the 1 million in South Africa, you can get proper offshore investments, leaving your South African bank account, going offshore enjoying dollar growth, enjoying euro growth. And it starts from as little as 5,000 rand a month. If you want to hear more about this, please reach out. I'll be happy to walk you through the process. Next, you got to start investing in foreign assets. Now you can do that from here without your money actually leaving South Africa, which is, which is very sweet. You can invest in foreign equity investments, foreign bonds, foreign uh, REITs, all from a South African platform. You, here you enjoy the benefit of tracking offshore performance while your money stays here in South Africa. I'm not exactly sure where it's safer, but still you have peace of mind knowing that you're tracking and you're matching offshore performance. Precious metals is also seen as something very significant as a shield and as a hedge against the rand. Gold and silver, ironically, the Kruger is, is basically the most circulated gold coin or the most circulated way of gold on the retail space. And it's long considered a store of real wealth. It's God's wealth. It's finite. It comes from the ground. They get professional help. If you don't have an advisor, get help from an advisor. Uh, do some reading, do some research. And if you're looking for a financial advisor, you haven't consulted one already, I'll be happy to help you out. Click the link in the description where you're watching this video. The next thing you got to do is diversify across asset classes. So not just geography, but you are diversifying across asset classes. And by asset classes, we mean the various pools or the various groups of investments that perform similarly. For example, properties and asset class. Bonds is an asset class. Uh, equities and asset class. Commodities is an asset class. So if you're highly concentrated in one, consider diversifying across the others. Personally, when it comes to South African equity, I like to diversify into South African listed companies that have most of their operations offshore, particularly in Europe and the US. There's a couple of companies in South Africa like that. Do some homework, track the performance of those uh, currencies. They've been doing really well because they've been growing at dollar rates and euro rates instead of regressing with the South African rent. Also consider offshore banking. I mean, we have a, a pretty robust banking system in South Africa that will allow you to buy foreign currency on your banking app. Okay, pretty difficult to do when the rand is so weak, but something to plan for for the future. It's important that during this time, you keep your financial literacy levels up. Keep on reading, keep on watching the news. I know it's bad news all the time, but you got to keep in touch with financial information to see what's happening where it's happening, and what kind of moves that you can make to protect your wealth. Remember that the currency is very volatile and it's very unpredictable. And it's important for you to carefully assess your risk before taking any financial decisions. 